How will a super typhoon in the Western Pacific alter our weather here in Canada? We are about to answer that here on In the Know. Meteorologist Rhythm Reet, this storm was a Category 5, a super typhoon. Tell us now, where is this storm situated and what is its strength as of this Saturday morning? So this is the eighth Category 5 storm that we've had this year. Quite significant, but right now it has fallen down to a Category 1. Still moving in a northeasterly direction, so continuing to weaken, but this is where it's going to start to impact us here in, uh, in North America. Now, it's really interesting to think that a typhoon all the way that had impacts in Guam and in Korea will alter our weather here in Canada. So, Rhythm, the first question is, how is that even possible? Well, it's all thanks to teleconnection. We talk about this a lot where it's, you know, different anomalies that can be happening right across the world is going to affect every single other place. And another really good example of that is, well, El Nino. El Nino. Mm -hmm. We talk about towards the South America, those waters getting warm, but we've seen such a strong El Nino here and it's going to continue as we head towards the winter as well. So as we see the energy that's associated with this storm, it sort of is getting sucked into the jet stream. So explain how that is going to move towards North America. Absolutely. So when we have this storm, such a powerful typhoon, it's going to get pulled into that jet stream. And what it does is that it deepens the trough that we have right over the Pacific Ocean and then enhances the ridge right over the west. When we have such an enhanced ridge, so those warmer temperatures coming to fruition across the west we're gonna have those cooler temperatures right across the east so it's a zigzag that happens kind of like when you whip a rope you see that um, shape that sinusoidal shape that it the ripple take effect in. yeah the ripple effect that it takes <laughs> in <laughs> really interesting now rhythm let's sort of put this into perspective for Canadians what does that mean the ridge in the jet stream the trough in the jet stream how does that sort of equal weather in our backyard and temperatures so when it comes to the temperatures for us, generally what we would see is a very deep uh, ridge in the west. So warmer temperatures, high pressure right across the prairies, and then cooler Arctic air that's going to be pulled down right across the east. However, it's very much dependent on how and where this trough is going to get pulled in. So let's talk about that because that is really interesting because this time of year, the Pacific influence versus the Arctic influence, that's a big temperature difference. Absolutely. And here's where it really comes into play. We have bovin that ended up being pulled in a little bit further south than expected. Now, when this does get pulled into that jet stream, we're still going to have that ridge in the west and cooler temperatures in the east. However, we're not going to get as much of that Arctic pull that we expected with this where those cooler temperatures would be coming down instead we have a lot more of that pacific air being drawn in towards the east so definitely a cool down in temperatures but not as intensely as we would have expected with this system moving in towards that jet stream at a higher rate and especially too when you think about that deepening trough that could be a very active storm track too it, so rhythm let's take a look at i guess toronto versus vancouver just to see those temperatures in the upcoming week absolutely so we see that over the next Next week we're gonna see a jump up in the temperatures for Vancouver however in Toronto still slightly below seasonal and that's how a super typhoon can affect us here in Canada